here we get this uh, this release, uh, and there's there are 2,900 photos of uh, people who have been detained. For what have they been detained? You know, I mean, of course there are people who get arrested in Xinjiang. There's people who get arrested everywhere for a wide variety of, uh, of reasons. People commit crimes. People uh, get involved in, uh, in illegal behavior. <laughs> it's a pretty common uh, part of being arrested to get your picture taken. We're not dealing when we deal with Adrian Zenz with someone who is uh, a, a deep scholarly researcher. I don't think he's ever actually been to Xinjiang. He's clearly working from an agenda. But that is an agenda which is of great utility and value to the political interests of the United States government uh, and, and is very convenient for American mainstream corporate media uh, because he says the kinds of things that they want to be said uh, and he has just enough of an institutional cover to allow him to be quoted as if he is a, a sort of respectable scholarly authority. Uh, so he produces these, these so-called reports, uh, but they are, they are based really on preconceptions. They're based on sort of spiritual and psychological agenda, uh, which shapes his narrative, but it's a narrative that's very, very useful for the, those who want to demonize China. I don't think in mainstream academic circles even that he is particularly taken very seriously, but he is uh, he's certainly become a, a primary informant for corporate media and, and politicians. So, you know, I, to have this conveniently released by this this very questionable authority while Madame Bachelet is, is on her visit to, to Xinjiang, obviously this is a this is a moment of political theater. To, we have to see this as a political gesture. This isn't some sort of objective investigation. China uh, has its own record on human rights, which has to do with prioritizing people, which has to do with the way that China has handled the COVID uh, pandemic. It has to do with China raising, you know, hundreds of millions of people out of poverty. It has to do with the improvements in health care and education and housing, the incredible uh, elevation of the standard of living of, of the Chinese people that has been the priority there for the United States to, to raise these charges against uh, China about human rights while completely ignoring its own history of, of the way that our country was put together, the, the seizure of land, the displacement of the indigenous people here, their confinement to marginal reservations and things like that. So yes, contextualizing it, substantiating it, uh, taking it out of the propaganda uh, organs of, uh, of Adrian Zenz and giving it a, a solid investigation and analysis.